Hey guys, in this tutorial, we'll go through system user management features of Zoom Admin. Uh, some of these features are new. We, uh, we just released a couple weeks ago as far as creating and managing users in Zoom Admin. So let's take a look. Um, this is the dashboard as you, as you can see, and this is where you see all of your connected servers. By the way, I still get questions on connecting a server. So I'll try to mention that uh, in every video that it's really easy. Click on connect new machine. Um, first, go to this text we have. It's kind of helpful tips on different things that you can do uh, where you can create your server. But ideally, you know, use a cloud provider, something like DigitalOcean. You don't have to, it could be anywhere. But once you create your, your server, you want to 18 server, you come here type a name, click continue, and you will get a install code, something like this, that you will run on your server only once to connect. Okay, so that's kind of a quick um, couple steps on that, but there is a more, more in-depth video if you, want, if you want to watch that. Now, let's take a look at demo 8, 8 server and see what changes we made to the user management aspects of um, your machine. So if you go under machine menu users, and you may have seen this before, we had listed your users here before, uh, but it was more like we'd only, we didn't only you know, have any other additional features on top of that. Now you still can search, find a user, or click on one. Uh, and again, some of these are like built-in default users. Uh, we don't allow you to change the username for a number, number of different reasons, uh, but you can always uh, change the password or create a new one. So the change we made is now you can, uh, you know, you can create a new user. So let's go ahead and do that. Click on create. This will take you to create user screen. You can uh, type in whatever username you want. Let's say test one, uh, type in uh, a password. By default, this will be be the home path for that user. Uh, you can change that, but we kind of want to keep everything in Zoom Admin folder. Um, hence, we kind of default to Zoom Admin slash whatever the username you typed. Uh, and this this last feature is an, is a key feature. It says shell access, and those of you with Linux knowledge will know what this means. But but basically, this means that this user will be able to SSH into the server um, using these credentials, right? That's what shell access means. Now, uh, sometimes you want this to be enabled, other times you may not want this to be enabled. I had users with both you know, use cases. Uh, let's say, you know, if you are someone who um, manages multiple websites for different people and sometimes they may they may ask you to give them um, SSH access for them to check some logs or what, what have you uh, and, and you might want to do that here and, and again this is not a root level access this is just a simple user in Linux with the default permissions uh, in that case you can create a user with shell access enabled and and then give them access now in other cases where you don't want anyone to log in into your server with these credentials just select no no option and it will not allow you to log in so why would you want this anyway so even if you select no so let's go, go ahead and create this i'll tell you um, as part of another feature that we released pretty you know a couple of weeks ago you know it it allows you to select the user on an application level in, in Apache websites and I'll show you real quick. But let's take a look before going there. Uh, so we just created that user which probably put, put it in the end because it's sorted I think. So if you search for one, uh, whatever you typed, uh, so this is the new one we created. Um, you can go back and change, uh, change password as well if you want to or we'll change something else. So, so that's kind of a nice feature. I think users, is, you know, monitoring your users is really important. Uh, this is how sometimes a backdoor is left. So if you gave your 
access to someone on your server uh, they might create a user without you knowing about that uh, so it's it's generally a good idea to monitor the users uh, available on your system uh, so that you want to make sure that you, that you don't see any uh, invalid users or any uh, users that are suspicious uh, but otherwise it's a um, is a way to create and manage your, your, your users in Zoom Admin without going into command line, right? So now that we have created that user, let me show you the other feature we've done with uh, Apache websites. So when you create a website, there's now an advanced section that will allow you to select a user that, that runs that website. And this is Useful. By the way, uh, we have made some other changes on the screen. You may know this now. We'll show you exactly the path of the website um, and it'll tell you that hey, you want to SFTP the files here. If you if you want to have custom website uh, built, this is where where you need to have uh, SFTP your files. Um, this is where the log files are. And again, you, you know some other changes changes we've made kind of I'll, I'll have a link to tutorials as well here um, so hopefully this will make it easier and again we have like help icons everywhere now so hopefully it will make it easier but now we have this uh, this advanced settings section by default Apache uses www-data user now in most cases if it's your server you can just leave it to default but uh, like i said if you want to create a website for someone else give them access and then you want to have a separate user for that you can come here and select a user that you created uh, so we just create test one um, you can do that the other um, feature and again this will probably be another video that I'll cover that we, you can now uh, um, put a custom path for the website instead of the default one here but anyway this is how you select the user for the website and, and save it it will actually run the website now using that new user you just created okay so going back to users um, you can edit delete users as well uh, edit you kind of saw but delete you can also delete the user if you wanted to now you cannot delete the root user um, i think we prevent that yeah so you cannot edit the root user or delete uh, this is for security reasons uh, but otherwise other users you can uh, and, and as you can see this will make it easier for you to manage your users uh, that's it for this video thanks for watching uh, by the way we just enabled a chat support on our application for our users so if you do have any questions feel free to also reach out on chat um, but if you you know if you have any feature requests or, or any uh, questions comments um, do reach out you know zoom admin is in active development so we are adding features every week um, you can always reach out to us request a feature if we're missing something but otherwise uh, just keep uh, subscribing to our YouTube channel you kind of will see uh, the updates as we release these videos thanks again to continue watching click on one of the following videos and click the ZA icon in the middle of to subscribe to our channel if you like this video please give us a thumbs up it really helps us with YouTube algorithm and comment below if you have any questions or you can also email me directly michael at zoomadmin.com thanks again